Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, I am gonna show you how to set up a sensor that is HP203B. In the previous videos, we have seen working on the different digital sensors. So similarly, we will be proceeding further this momentum and we will be working on new sensor that is HP203B. So for that, first of all, go to the website that is controleverything.com and here search for this sensor. And let's see what we got. So HP203B is a precision barometer and altimeter sensor and these are some of its features as you can see. You can purchase this sensor as you can see on my screen. Now I am going to interface the sensor HP203B with the Raspberry Pi and with a Python code. And for the Python code let's go to resource tab and here comes the Python code sample. Now the Python code sample can be downloaded as a zip file from this way site. You can also download the code from our GitHub account and the repository there is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware we require for this particular video and let's make some connections for that. Now first of all we require our sensor that is HP203B a digital barometer and altimeter sensor which we are going to be setting up today. In addition to this we need a Raspberry Pi. Now to provide the solution of connection among the sensor and the Pi and to further make it easy for other I2C devices we need an I2C shield which is available on the website controleverything.com. Now make the connection and gently place the I2C shield over the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi. Now to make a connection among the sensor and the shield we need the binding factor that is a connecting cable. Make the connection of the sensor and the cable with a rule that brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly this suit has to be followed for the I2C shield also. So it's look like this. Next we need to power up the Pi and come some micro USB cable into the picture. Insert it up in the power jack. Now to connect the Raspberry Pi, the setup for the internet, there are two ways. First it's an ethernet cable you are able to see on my screen and in case if it's not available, don't worry, a wireless nano USB adapter might come in handy. It might save your day also. Now place the Ethernet cable over the internet jack and you can place the adapter over the Wi-Fi adapter over the USB port. Now this is the setup we require for our video tutorial. Now the connection has been set up and completed. So let's proceed further and see what's the code. As we are done with the connections part, let's go to the github.com for the python code. So log in here and here we go. Now here control everything community repository is here, click over it. This is the required sensor we are looking forward and this is the python code. Let's have a look over the instructions first. We have to download and install the SMS library on the display Pi and the steps are being provided at this link. So have a look over this link for better clarification and here it comes. Now as you can see all the process and all the steps, instructions, commands are being provided here to install this particular library on the workstation or any computer. You can do it and do it carefully. Now get back to the code and before that this is the command to run the code. Note it down. Now, get back to the code. As you can see it's a .py extension file. First of all we have imported SMBus and time libraries and all the functionalities come along with them. Next the address of the sensor is 0x76 and we have sent OSR and channel setting command to the register that is 0x44. Writing section is here. <clears throat> now this comes to the reading part. Uh, HP 203B address is here. We have read data from 0x10. 6 bytes we have read, and this is the data for that. Now we are getting a new reading here. It pulls a new data which we can process and see our values. Now, this is the conversion part for the data for temperature and pressure, which is according to the data sheet for HP203B. Similarly, in the next section, we have sent OSR and channel setting command and this is the command here as you can see writing part reading part is here from the register 0x31 we have read altitude for 3 bytes and converted the same as you can see 
At the very end of our code, we have rightly formatted the strings and output data on the screen is being displayed in the form of altitude in meter, pressure in Pascal, temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. And all the values are being formatted according to the two values of float value. Now, this is a very simple and generalized code as you can see on my screen. Now, next, we want to interface and see the working. So let's go ahead. Now, we came to the interesting part. Uh, this is the working part. So copy this entire Python code and open up the terminal for the Raspberry Pi. Here, create a new file as you can see on my screen. It's a .py extension. Paste the code and save it. And this is the command to run the code as you can see on my screen. And here we go. Now we have the altitude, pressure and temperature values again the same. Now when I apply some pressure over the sensor and run the command, as you can see there is a change in altitude, pressure and temperature. Now again doing that, there is again a change in altitude, pressure and temperature. So this is how a Python code works with the sensor. Now let's have a look over the benefits, the applications and a lot more for this sensor. We have seen the working of the sensor, the code and a lot more for the sensor HP203B. The HP203B employs a MEMS pressure sensor with an I2C interface to provide accurate temperature, pressure or altitude data. The sensor pressure and temperature outputs are digitized by a high resolution 24-bit ADC. The altitude value is calculated by a specific patented algorithm according to the pressure and temperature data. Now, these are the features. Due to this, it's viable for a lot of applications like mobile altimeter, barometer, industrial pressure and temperature sensor systems, weather station equipment, indoor navigation and nap assist, and a lot more. You can purchase this sensor from the website controleverything.com and you can get the relevant code by going to the resource tab and then downloading it. Now you can also get the code from the GitHub repository that is Control Everything Community. Now I have shown you the working explanation, hardware connections and a lot in this video tutorial. In case if you have any doubts and queries you can contact me on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments on the community page. Now for blogs and articles, you can check me on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, go to our YouTube channel. At the very end, I hope you found this video useful and yourself a good one. Enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching.